Welcome to Amazing Prophecies, where we will go on a journey to discover the incredible truths from the Bible and what they mean for our lives today. These were special Sabbaths that involved sacrificial rituals, and they were clearly part of the ceremonial law. Does that make sense, everyone? They were shadows of the cross, right? We saw how the sanctuary and all of those feast days, they were all pointing forward to who? Who are they pointing forward to, friends? Jesus, right? They were all fulfilled in Jesus. They were pointing forward to the real Lamb of God. And the book of Hebrews tells us that once Jesus came, those shadows were no longer needed. In fact, the book of Hebrews tells us exactly which law was a shadow. It wasn't the moral law, it was the ceremonial law. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 1. For the law, having a shadow of the good things to come and not the very image of the things, can never with these same sacrifices, which they offer continually, year by year, make those who approach perfect. Which law is Paul talking about here? Is it the moral law? What do you think? How many of you think it's the moral law? How many of you think it's the ceremonial law? Exactly, it's the ceremonial law. The moral law never commanded sacrifices. The moral law is not a shadow. The seventh day Sabbath is not a shadow pointing forward to the cross. It's a memorial pointing back to creation. Amen. Now let's go back to Colossians chapter 2 and look at it one more time. So let no one judge you in food or in drink or regarding a festival or a new moon or Sabbaths, which are a shadow of things to come, but the substance is Christ. Friends, which law is Paul talking about? Which law had food and drink and festivals? The ceremonial law. Is that clear, everyone? Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more Bible truth, I invite you to subscribe below. Also, click here to watch one of my favorite videos. And click here, top left, to watch this series in full. God bless you.